Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be showing you how to create these super cool and unique chrome bubble nails. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. To get started, you'll want to apply a base gel polish. Because we're gonna be using gel to do this effect, we'll be using the regular gel application steps. So I first applied that base coat and then fully cured it. And next I'm gonna go in with a black gel polish and I'm applying two coats of this, curing in between each layer. I'm using black to do this, but you can totally try out different base colors for this effect and see how you like it. Because we're gonna be using an effect powder over top of this black gel, I'm first gonna apply a thin layer of no wipe top coat gel and then cure that. Next, it's time to go into the effect powder. And for this effect, I'm going to be using a silver chrome one. And I like to pick it up on a cosmetic wedge just because it's more accessible and I really like how it applies. And then I dab that powder over my entire nail. Then once it's dispersed evenly, I just go ahead and buff that in until it's shiny. And at this point, your fingers are gonna be super messy from all of that chrome powder going everywhere, but don't worry about it. We'll clean that up at the end. If you're having trouble with the chrome powder sticking on any parts of the nail, I found that just giving it a light little dab applied that pigment and it was able to stick better with a dabbing motion. Once the chrome powder has been applied, we wanna preserve that finish. So I'm gonna apply another layer of the No Wipe Top Coat Gel and then cure that. And now it's time for the fun part. Let's make the bubbles. To do this, I'm using a small plastic food storage container, but you can use a jar or whatever you have on hand. And I filled it about halfway up with water, and then I'm just gonna do a few pumps of soap into it. And then I sealed that lid up and I shook it up until it was nice and bubbly. So the trick to get that bubble snake-like effect is to first apply a very thin layer of the No Wipe Top Coat that you've been using for your nails, and then you're gonna spoon some of the bubbles on top of that wet top coat gel. And it feels crazy, like it feels like this shouldn't be working, and in fact, the bubbles might slide around a little bit, but I found if you did a nice, generous dollop of the bubbles on top of the top coat, it should be enough to cover the full nail, and then before they pop, you want to immediately put it under your LED lamp and fully cure it. And when you pull it out of the lamp, this is the effect you get. Isn't this so cool? So I found that different types of soap yield different sizes of bubbles. A dish soap gave me tinier bubbles and this was a hand soap and the bubbles were a little more unique in size. And I really like that for this look. I feel like it looks extra snake-like. And then once everything is applied, you can go wash your hands and get any of that chrome powder off of your skin. And that's it. This is such a super easy nail look and it's a very fun technique to try out. If you enjoyed this video, you can click on your screen here to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to click the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye!